Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I've got the sprayer on behind me. I'm just about to take it off because I need to take some water up to the cows in the village. We've actually managed to get a few stubbles sprayed off this week, which has been really good, which means I can start drilling as soon as the weather dries up. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, our new mill will turn up today. So this video will see us putting it in the shed where the old one was. We're kind of hoping and praying that it fits on the same brackets as it is the same make, but it is a newer model. So we'll wait and see. No doubt it won't. Um, but if you wouldn't mind, first things first, drop down, tap the subscribe button and while you're down there, hit the little bell so you get notified about any future videos. Let's go do some work. First job of the day is to take this tanker and fill up these four water barrels on this trailer. This block of ground is rotationally grazed with the cattle that are through there and essentially there's no mains water supply. There is however a drinking place down there but the water doesn't flow too well and it's really muddy to get to it so I just said you know what it's a disease waiting to happen. We shut that off, knocked up this trailer, I'll show you how it works. It's essentially a very simple concept. This trailer was, I don't know, these are World War II axles, it's well old, like my granddad made it or something. Um, we take this pipe, this tank is full of water, we pump the water into these barrels, they hold 1500 litres each, they just gravity feed onto this blue pipe, down into that trough there, that trough stays full and those cows can drink out of it. And what we do is every time we move up onto a new block of ground, we just move the trailer up as well. They're just grazing a tiny little field through there and they're just running back into this at the minute because essentially that tractor broke down so I couldn't move it. It's back now though, so we'll move it again next time. Well, it looks like the mill is probably not going to turn up today, so we've decided to go and uh, muck out a couple of cattle yards. We have only got a couple left from the spring. We normally do them well quick, but this year, for one reason or another, we just don't seem to have got them all done. Um, we're taking this up onto a herbal lay to spread. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make it into some compost if I can get myself sorted out with a windrow turner, but that's proving more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, but we're not allowed to spread artificial fertilizer on our um, herbal lays that are in our mid-tier stewardship, which is one of the reasons why we're taking this muck up there, so that we've got some organic manure um, to put a bit of N and some biomass back into the soil. So yeah, hopefully though, like I say, I would like a compost turner. It'd be really good. So if anyone knows where there's one knocking around, let me know because just had a quote back for a new one and it's £65,000 plus that which is more than I can really afford to pay at the minute so yeah let me know. So the new mill's turned up. Look at this beast. Look at the width on it. It's gonna mill some corn. Here's the old one, we took that out. You can see how much narrow it is. So we've got to just adapt the frame though to put it on, which is what we're doing now. We're up on the top of the frame now. We've got to move this beam across a bit. That one is in the right place. This one's gotta move across. And on top of here, we have some angle brackets that sit on some rubbers. And we've got to drill new bolt holes to bolt the new mill to. And then hopefully, it should fit underneath the hopper and it should work the same as the old one. And we wire it in down to there. It just looks a bit of a mess at the minute because, well, we've ripped everything out to put the new one. That's just lifting it into position. Keep coming. Keep coming. So we've got the mill in now. I've had to move this one across but we now need to move this hopper a little bit and mount up all these electrics down there. We're all bolted up. We've had to move this hopper along a little bit. We've put the control box here, ready to go. And when you turn it on, you go to like half power and full power, but it was tripping this breaker out in here, um, which runs the mill. We've had to swap this for a 20 amp breaker. It was a 16, but it was just peaking too much because that motor on that, if you can just see behind there, there's a big motor. That's a seven and a half horsepower motor. It's an absolute monster. So we are now ready to mill some corn. So 
everything is now in there. We've got the oats, the beans, the string barley, the molasses, the ruby buff, the minerals, all in there mixing up. And we've got just got this uh, bucket here just to catch anything that comes over, which is leak a little bit. It's all in there, I'll now take a few steps and show you what it's like uh, now the dust died down a little bit with that molasses. As you can see, that molasses has really dampened the dust down. Just trying to get it to mix along now and then we'll uh, tip it out and bag some up. So it's now all mixed together in the shed. You can see it's quite a fine mix, but it's not very dusty now. We've got that molasses on there. I'm gonna take some down to the cows and see how they like it. There you are. Cattle seems to be enjoying it. It actually smells lovely uh, with that bit of molasses on it. Just got a nice sweetness to it. It's quite sugary, almost like a treacle. Um, but yeah, we've got to increase these cows up to having around about five-ish kilos a day at the minute um, of this cereal, but you've got to do it steadily because if you introduce it too fast, it can upset their stomachs. So it's essentially like anything. I mean, if you eat plain food and then go for a curry, yeah, it's not going to end well. So uh, yeah, we're going to increase this steadily and yeah, they'll enjoy it. And we'll get them, get them really romping on then. Should be doing around about two to two and a half kilos a day of daily live weight gain when they get going on this ration. But until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, see you soon.